What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting day. I'm gonna be unboxing the brand new CDJ 3000 from Pioneer. Gonna have a first look and give you my first impressions. So today is courtesy of STLS, link down in the description below. They do light and sound higher as well as installation and a whole range of different light and sound solutions. So if that is of interest to you, please do go and check them out. But for now, let's get on with the unboxing. So safe to say I got a little bit carried away playing on the decks back there and I didn't actually film any first thoughts there and then. So back here now, having used the CDJ 3000s for about half an hour or so, 45 minutes before we had to box them back up again. And first and foremost, I wanted to say, these excited me uh, and I was actually surprised by how much they excited me. What I mean by this is when I first used the 2000 Nexuses and went to the 2000 Nexus 2s, they didn't really excite me. Like I was just a little bit indifferent to them. They were great decks, they're usable. I still use them to this day in many of the venues that I play at when they're open. But they didn't really excite me, the Nexus 2s. When I unboxed the 3000s, I was pretty impressed and I was pretty excited to get started on them, to get cracking on them. So very, very um, impressed. And that was a bit of a surprise to me. I didn't think I would feel that way about them. In terms of some first observations then, the look and feel, this is a premium product through and through from the box right the way through to the actual unit itself. But for £2,169, I would expect nothing less, but yeah, they're built extremely well. They feel solid, they feel premium, which is good. And to be honest, they should feel that way for that price. And for the flagship player, yes, okay, they live up to the expectation of being the flagship sort of player look and feel wise. My second observation is the size. These feel significantly bigger than the 2000 Nexus 2s. Not so much because of the main sort of face plate, but because of that nine inch touch screen, which is significantly larger than the one found on the CDJ 2000 Nexus 2. But the overall player does feel pretty big to be honest and even though i had seen pictures of it in person it just felt a lot bigger that touch screen though the nine inch touch screen is fantastic it displays far much more information the resolution um, looks a lot crisper the menu system which has been upgraded feels fantastic to use as well so yeah in my opinion that gets a massive tick in the box but overall size wise these cdj 3000s feel significantly larger. My final observation is on the actual usability, the functionality of them. These decks feel, of course, very familiar. They have that typical Pioneer CDJ layout. So if you've used the 2000 Nexus 2, you will feel at home on the CDJ 3000s. However, at the same time, they felt surprisingly different. It's quite hard to explain unless you actually use them, but I would need a good hour or two before a gig having a little mess around and that on these before feeling comfortable DJing on them to a crowd. So yes, the core functions were all exactly the same in the same place. 
apart from obviously the hot cues and the menu system. But at the same time, they felt completely different. They felt completely unique. Um, I think largely due to the upgraded menu system on the screen, obviously the larger touchscreen, the stacked waveforms, there's just some subtle differences that take a little while to get used to. And so I think if you have the opportunity to use a pair of CDJ 3000s ahead of a gig, then absolutely take up that opportunity. The other noticeable difference is the jog wheel. It is still a pressure sensitive jog wheel rather than a capacitive jog wheel that's found on some controllers. But again, the jog wheel feels a lot different. It feels extremely smooth. Um, it just doesn't have, I, again, I can't really explain it. It just does not feel the same as a 2000 Nexus 2 jog wheels. I'm really grateful to STLS for letting me unbox and use the players for a little bit. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by them. I'm gonna leave it at that for today. This was really just an unboxing and a first impressions. There are fuller reviews all over YouTube. Hopefully at some point I will get my hands on a pair of CDJ 3000s again so I can give you a more in-depth look at some of the features but I'm going to leave it there for today. Please do give me a thumbs up, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like this type of thing and I will see you in the next video.